What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Roll Easy here and I'm back to show you guys another GTA 5 online money glitch. It is the drive-in facility workaround. This glitch just will not die. Easy money glitch. I'm doing it on Xbox. We're going to get into it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so now that we're continuing with the video, what you're gonna need for this glitch is obviously you need a facility. I'd say join a friends only session. It's a lot easier to actually join back with your friend. But uh, yeah, so a friends only session, uh, a facility, you need one friend obviously. You need to have an Avenger as well. We're using the Avenger to still get glitched out. Now you need a Benny's car in your facility as the duper obviously. You wanna dupe any Benny's car, retro custom will sell for the most, almost a million dollars. You do not need custom plates for this. Apart from that, you need a full garage with, well, not a full garage, but just a garage, you know, with Fagios or RH8s, anything to dupe over, really. I recommend Fagios or Sanchez's, so you can use your MC menu to call them out, and the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to actually save the vehicles, all right? So once you're ready to go, get into your facility, invite your friend in there, all right? So now here's the setup, okay? Now it's just a little bit different, but it's not like difficult whatsoever, okay? Just make sure you do it exactly how I'm doing it, and you'll have no problem. So I just invited my friend into the facility. I'm going to go to the Avenger services and go to the cockpit access and set it to no one. Okay. And keep it on no one right there. All right. So set it to no one so that nobody is allowed in there. Your friend will be able to get into it in the, uh, in the facility, but not later. Okay. Or not once you get outside. So as you can see in the top right, that's the friend's perspective. So my friend is going to go ahead and just hop in the uh, Avenger on the pass in the passenger side. Once you're in here, all you need to do is simply exit the facility. All right, so go ahead and just hit exit the facility. When Once we go outside right here, what's going to happen is, since we set the cockpit access to no one, your friend's going to get kicked out. I recommend maybe trying to land a little bit lower uh, so that your friend doesn't die when he falls out. But yeah, so just like, you know, just go down close to the ground because he will get kicked out right away. Then you want to go ahead and park your Avenger close to the yellow circle, okay? Close to the yellow circle like you see me do right there. Go back to Avenger Services, Cockpit Access, and set it to everyone. Okay, set it to everyone and back out of the menu and have your friend walk into the Avenger. All right, right in the passenger side. Now, once you're both in there, go ahead and right D-pad and enter the facility once again. Okay, and I'm telling you, follow these first steps down to a T. There was a few times where I failed and it was because I actually didn't follow these right or I kept exiting the facility. I kept mix and mixing and matching steps and uh, it did screw it up. You must do it exactly like this. I definitely recommend doing it exactly like you see me doing it in the video and you will have no problem. Okay, so right now, once we're making our way back in the facility, what's going to happen is we're both going to get kicked out of the Avenger. Okay, that's all right. That's supposed to happen. Go ahead and get back in as the driver. And the passenger, you're going to have to wait here for a second to actually get back in. But here we go. I can get back in now on Xbox where you need a friend in a different targeting mode. But I'm going to show you how to do that without actually having a friend. OK, like an actual friend on your friends list. Go to cruise leaderboard. Pick this IGN crew right here. OK, we're in a free aim session. Everybody in IGN usually plays in assisted aim. So just find one of these guys right here. I recommend probably testing this beforehand but hit join game on them and chances are this dude is in assisted aim. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept the first alert and then sit on the second. So look at that, see targeting mode, boom. We don't need a friend in, uh, on our list or anything. You can actually do it just like that. Uh, PlayStation, you can do a recent activity if you want. Okay, so that's what the friend is. The friend needs to sit on that alert. What you need to do is hover over exit the facility and we're gonna get ready to hit exit facility and quickly close our app, okay? So get ready. We're going to hit exit the facility and then quickly right away close the app. All right. Close the app just like that. All right. There we go. So remember, the friend is still sitting on that alert. You, you, if you're the friend in the Avenger in the passenger seat, you are sitting on that alert the entire time. All right. PlayStation, you can just use a recent activity to sit on the alert. Xbox, we need a friend in another charging mode. I just showed you how to do it without actually having a friend on your friends list. All right. So this stays as a two player glitch. Now. 
what you want to go ahead and do as the duper once you load into story mode go ahead and join your friend back remember since the friend is in a close friend session we can simply join back we don't need any invites or anything like that remember because your friend is on that alert so he's kind of stuck in limbo right now so we're going to be spawning down in that same session here momentarily but this uh, when you're quitting that app make sure you quit that app as quickly as possible okay make sure you do it fast so now that we're over there back to the facility i had my spawn location set to my facility look at that my friend is still in the passenger seat that's exactly what you want to see now you want to go ahead and start up a titan of a job all right so go to rockstar created missions and start up a titan of a job have your friend in the top right you know in the passenger seat decline that alert so decline the recent or decline the targeting mode alert whichever one you're on depending on the console all right once you decline it you'll see the avenger for a second and then you'll get hit with a loading screen okay so you're gonna see right here in the top right he's gonna back out of that here we go any second now <laughs> there we go you saw that so you see a flicker of the avenger and that's it all right then you're on an infinite black loading screen so now as the duper what you want to do is once you're in Titan of a job, invite your friend to that job, okay? Obviously, you can go to the party as well. Uh, as the friend, you could just go to the party and join, you know, your friend in the job. But I'm just going to go ahead and send him an invite, all right? So, invite to game. There we go. Now, my friend is going to go ahead and accept that invite, and then he should be on the first alert. And you want him to sit on that first alert, the one that says, are you sure you want to join? Okay, that's what you're going to see right there. So, you see it on the top right, are you sure you want to join? I know he's on that alert. I'm going to back out. Now I'm going to tell him to go ahead and accept that alert and then the unable to connect as well. So he accepted both alerts. Now he is glitched inside of the facility in my Avenger. He just needs to hop out. Boom. That's how you glitch out your friend in the Avenger now. That is the workaround. All right. And once again, founder is linked down in the description. So go check him out. Now, what you want to do now, it's the same as every previous drive-in facility glitch that we've done before. Go ahead and exit the facility. All right, so we're going to exit the facility and we got to get some stuff ready. We got to get the MOC ready nice and close by so that we can keep doing these dupes over and over again. And we got to get a vehicle out there that we want to overwrite. So I definitely recommend being an MC president because we can, you know, we can request any bike with cool with no cooldowns, basically. So remember, Sanchez's and Fagios are probably your best bet. So I'm going to go ahead and just get my presser here just so that I can actually make it to my MOC quicker. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Mobile Operations Center request the MOC so I'm gonna fly over or just drive over I guess or ride my bike over to the MOC return it to storage and then drive the MOC over to the facility and I'm gonna park it as close as I can get it they did this old patch where well not super old but recently where the blue circle kind of disappears if you're too close to the facility so make sure you have that blue circle for the MOC wherever you decide to park it all right so now that I'm close to the facility, what I'm going to go ahead and do is open up my motorcycle club menu and request one of my Fagios or Sanchez's, whichever one. And this is going to be the vehicle that we're overriding. So this Fagio right here, I'm going to be getting the plates from this. And it's going to be going onto the dupe. All right. That, this is how we're going to make clean dupes. We're actually overriding these vehicles and they're going to be giving us a fresh generic plate every single time. All right. So now that we're going back in the facility, you can tell that my friend is glitched out because he's in the animation. Uh, going down in the elevator with me okay that shouldn't happen if he's not coming down in the elevator with us he's glitched in the facility so go ahead and get into your retro custom wait for the car to start tell your friend to press wire triangle and hold it once the door opens up boom pop out tell him to keep holding it and then he should slide right over to the driver's seat if done correctly there you go he's in the driver's seat he should be able to drive the vehicles in your facility this is the drive-in facility glitch guys this is what we use to dupe cars to put vehicles in the special vehicle warehouse to bring you know planes in the facility this is the glitch to do all that with okay so now you want your friend to go ahead and park the car over here and wedge both doors so that you can teleport in and out just like that nice and easy okay i had a little bit of trouble uh parking the car at first so i had to get another car and wedge it that's okay now we're going to do the trick at the yellow circle hit a and y at the same time to exit facility and get in the car playstation hit x and triangle at the same time you'll see a flicker of you going into the car and then if done correctly you will spawn outside with your dupe all right and you know that it's a dupe because you'll have that brand new generic plate that was on the fagio or whatever you know whatever vehicle you left outside before you went into the facility so this is where we go to our moc and our moc stays there because the facility is glitched it will not despawn and you save the vehicle simple like this sim simply like that make sure you have the personal vehicle storage in the moc or else you won't be able to save these retros okay so i just drove it out just because i wanted to actually get back to the facility quicker 
I didn't realize it spawns you so far, but it's all good. So basically it's just rinse and repeat from now on. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this, you know, retro back in the MOC. I'm gonna call up another Faggio or Sanchez, and this is gonna be the next vehicle that I'm gonna be overriding. Okay, so you're just you're just rinsing and repeating these last few steps. And once you and your friend get the timing down and getting access to the vehicle, it becomes that much easier. So right now I'm going back in the facility. We already wedged the car, we parked it here, I can teleport in and out. That's the plate, NDP, and then, you know, you do the trick at the yellow circle. All right, so right now we're going to go to the yellow circle, aim towards the car, hit A and Y at the same time, or X and triangle, and there we go. Now, I'm getting my friend unglitched right here as well. Right when I teleported in, I told him to teleport in the car as well before we actually exited out there. So now he's actually in the car with me, and he's unglitched from the facility. Without doing that, he actually can't get out of the facility in this session. So that's how you do it. And then just press right D-pad and we're going to go ahead and save this. All right. So, oh, I just wanted to kind of look at the plate first to make sure. Yeah, FBK, that's a brand new plate. This is a brand new dupe, clean. I can sell it right away if I really wanted to. All right. So that's the new drive-in facility glitch workaround. Shout out to the founder. I think it was, uh, what's his name again? I, I can't I can't remember his name to be honest with you, but uh, I think it's one of the glitch god. Yeah. So go check him out. Uh, link will be down in the description. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative Dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out, everyone.